everybody. Welcome to the last Patch Tuesday of the year. And the year it has been. Yeah, it's been one of the heaviest Patch Tuesdays we've had in a long time. Several went into the triple digits. Yeah, there were some bad ones. But this month is the lightest month of x Patch in six years. Yeah, this one's kind of making up for it, I think. Yeah, it's nice. It was, uh, we got 33 total patched. Only four of them are critical. One of them was already known or exploited, but that one didn't even rate an SVE rating. It was just given an informational one. It's about the AMD processor issue. Right. All these patches will take care of that if you use an AMD. So do do patch for sure, no matter what, even if you're on AMD. But overall, there's nothing already exploited. The already known one was an informational. Only for I've never seen anything this easy. Someone must have been very good for Christmas. It was me. <laughs> it was me. All right, but that doesn't mean that we didn't have anything we can highlight. Sure. No, we can find uh, something. I'm going to start with a 9.6, which that's not good. No, it's pretty high. <laughs> no, so this one's a spoofing one for the Microsoft uh, Power Platform Connector. It doesn't impact everybody. In fact, if you are at risk for this one, you would have gotten an informational thing on your uh, my, your admin center. Mm-hmm. Like an information thing. Notification. Like, hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, this was the thing. We fixed it. I think bulletin is the word for that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. The admin, yeah. So yeah, the, the way that go, though, it wasn't, uh, it also wasn't warmable. It required someone to click on a malicious link, mm-hmm. but if you didn't get anything in message center, continue to indiscriminately click on whatever link you want. You're fine. So train your users. Yes. Yes. That's always a good one. All right. The next one. And the third one, the 8.1 is probably the worst, but we'll, we'll get there. The, this one's 8.8. For the internet connection sharing, basically, if you have a server run in ICS, they can send a corrupted DHCP packet. And there's another one that's 8.8 that's for DHCP v6 packet. But the, you can send that kind of packet. Same thing. Bypass things, yeah. It's not great, but it's, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty limited one. And I believe it is, you have to be adjacent, you have to be in the same logical network to be able to do that attack at all. Right. Which makes it a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. All right, but now the last one. This one's probably the most insidious. It's just considered extremely complex to pull off. And this is one for the, was it? MS HTML, I had to read it, platform. But basically, someone can send a corrupted email that will execute code before it even reaches the e- the preview pane. Yeah, so, <laughs> so before you could kind of see... I would say a suspicious email and you could just like avoid it, yeah. you know, or just immediately delete it or whatever. But this one happens even before that preview pane is always bad. Yeah. Just because if you actually don't click on the email, if you don't open it, it can run. Those are rare. This one initiates before preview pane. I've never even heard anything like that. Yeah. No, that's the first I've seen of it. But the reason it only got an 8.1 is because it's apparently extremely complex to pull off. They tried to read what an attacker could do. And I'll be honest, I didn't understand it. <laughs> it had to do with like, molding memory or it was weird yeah i mean there are a lot of dumb bad actors i mean but there are some smart ones right yeah so there there is a possibility this could be exploited you're definitely not at risk from me (laughs) for this one (laughs) Uh, that's kind of the three three bad ones and even like the worst of them is only an 8.1 because it's so complex to do the the 9.6 is more of a microsoft 365 thing so it's even if it's it's already passed on the back end without you do anything and you've already been alerted if you were at risk. You're right. And then one is not even a network attack. It's like a logical, that's the three worst of them. So even the four critical, it's not, not a bad one. You know, what's good to see too, is we didn't get a messaging queue attack on this one. So we, we did, it, we it ended the second. streak at what, nine or 10, something like that. I, th- I think it was almost complete in the year. We yeah. almost had an entire year of that one service. We finally got it. We nailed it. <laughs> Figured right. it out. Nice job, everybody. We yeah. patched the crap out of it. All right, that's that's pretty much everything for this one. Uh, this sounds like a great Christmas present for Microsoft. Yeah. Now, what this takes is you have to choose to believe that they didn't have exploits to patch. Not they're taking it easy because it's the holidays. <laughs> half their half their <laughs> staff is out on vacation. <laughs> but overall, that's that's kind of it for December. Yeah. Uh, this, I, boy, that was a fantastic way to end the year. Sure was. I'm feeling. Really, I still have automation in place. Oh yeah. But, I mean, even with the light patch Tuesday. Just let automation take care of it. Yeah, that's the nice thing for us. It doesn't matter how bad or good it is. It's the same amount of work, and that's yep. none work. And that's none work, yeah. All right, for PDQ, I'm Jordan. And I'm Brock. <laughs>